welcome back to Factorio the Tutorial with me, JD, and yeah, I'm blowing myself up. Um, the trees are in the way. So I had to go. Go away, tree. Stop healing trees! If only we could teach our factories to heal. Okay, um, so I've hooked up all the pipes, the last thing to do is, we have nothing we can do with heavy oil or light oil at the moment, um, but as you can see the refineries, they're basically backed up at the moment, they can't output anymore. So we need to, um, we need to put our liquids somewhere. And for the moment, storage tanks it is. Um, because there's nothing else we can really do with them. Now, there is something very, very important about how I place these things. Uh, which we will cover in just a second. Uh, I want light oil. Light oil goes into that one. Okay. So I want you to come down. Mm. No, I'm going to think about my placement for future. Uh. Chance that doesn't doesn't matter how much I try and plan things. Chance that things are going to get in the way. Okay, and then I want a one-two gap, and then I want more, I want more tanks. It seems ten was not enough. Um, I make sure I leave a two gap right here because we can get fluid pumps and fluid pumps are two squares long conveni conveniently so I make sure I leave that much space so in the future I can put a pump in here and I can drain these tanks back out into this page into this this first tank because later on not just at the moment but later on we get cracking which lets us convert the somewhat useless heavy oil and light oil into the um, higher items. Um, so we can convert heavy, which is, it's only got one use, into light, which has a couple of uses, into petroleum, which has a lot of uses. And whilst I'm here, I'm gonna upgrade the storage tanks. Uh, one more please, sir. Three seconds, that's a long time to craft them. And just so we, we the, the, the oil doesn't stop moving. Um, all right, next we need, we need to make, start making plastic. Um, which of course is miles away from everything else, including our, our coal, which we'll have to bring down here, but one thing at a time. All right, one of you guys, please make plastic. So we need liquid in the top and uh, Plus, we need to get liquid in the top and plastic on the out. Alright, now plastic, the recipe is one coal for two plastic bars. Okay, so back to the whole ratios thing. Uh, it means we're putting out two plastic bar per second. And these machines actually have a crafting speed of 1.25. Do another mining productivity whilst we're here. Um, so if we just work on a crafting speed of one. It means six of these guys produce 12 per second. All right, so seven of these guys fills a belt thoroughly. Um, for red belt, we double that, obviously. Um, so red belts, where are we? Move 26.6, which means we need 13 of these guys. Um, so if you say 14, all right, with seven on each side of the belt, uh, we'd be good to go. That's six. That's seven, because we have red belt now, so we might as well plan for red belt. Um, now, petroleum. I want petroleum to go into a tank. First spot I want it. Because a tank technically gives me four outputs. Um, and we're going to want our liquids probably going into four different places. Um, so that's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, so we've got one long line. No, no, no. Nope. Uh, 
up because we've got to get plastic in first. Uh, and just so you know, each time I pick up these pipes, all the liquid in them just, just disappears. So keep that in mind when you pick up a whole stack of your pipes. So that's seven on one side. We want output. Uh, so we want one, two, three, four. Really? Okay. Uh, belt. Down the middle. We're going to do the same on the other side. We have... Uh, make another row to make yet more plastic because uh, it's a very valuable resource and in this early game the only place it goes is into red circuits but we're going to need a good supply of red circuits and green circuits seems because I just ran out uh, okay so I need to go back up to base, grab more inserters. Uh, at the same time, I need to get a belt of coal down here. Mm. So, as we covered in the ratio or in the recipe, it's one plastic to uh, one coal to two plastic. So if we bring a yellow belt of uh, coal in we should be able to make a red belt of plastic on the out. Um, so we need this belt to have plastic in it. Catch is, it now has to go through, well, this is where our coal is, so it's got to get down here somehow. So I think the easiest answer is to go around our refineries for the moment. Uh, oh, always a tree in the way. Always. Drag this behind me. We did alright when it comes to trees. Three trees is not too bad. Uh, he says so now. Probably means when I do the plastic, there's going to be 40 trees in the way. Um, okay, we're going to make you on that belt, you on that belt, on that belt, and you on that belt, which frees this belt up to come down here, and you are now coal to feed our plastic. Uh, we just need inserters. What else do we need to bring back with us? Um, not iron, because iron finally looks like it's actually moving. Iron's backed up. Steel's the issue. Uh, that belt looks dead. So that means our miners down there are all dead now. Um, Alloway Creek. River. Lake. Whatever you want to call yourself. Um, okay, so we need a stack of inserters. Um... What else do we need? Uh, we need power poles, which are down here eventually. Um, I probably want another stack of inserters. Uh, electric circuits, it seems. Iron, it seems. I want to count that chest way smaller now. Now yeah, it's finally backed up. Um, okay, petroleum, that'll give us re uh, plastic for red circuits. Um, not that we actually have a green circuit production that can handle it, but one thing at a time, JD. Um, okay, and whilst we're walking down... We might as well pick up this belt. We need to pick up this belt. Each time we run up and down, we can just pick up a little bit more. Until it's all gone. Um, 
I know, riveting stuff. Belt pickups are the best. Um, actually, they're nice because it means that something that was important to your base is now old, obsolete, and done with. Um, there's a gun turret. We don't need that anymore. Or you, or you. Whoa! That's a power pole. Damn you, biter! Alright, I'm gonna go fix that now. Uh, turn the power grid on. Um, so I can pick up some of these power poles. Not many of them. Oh, damn you, Potter. Like I said, normally they leave they leave things alone. When it comes to your train tracks and your power poles out in the wilderness, wilderness generally they leave them alone. Occasionally they might run into something, because they're stupid. And if they run into something, they'll try and chew on it, because they're stupid and hungry. Um, so we're going to drive a car through every tree we can find. Move a tree. <gasps> Not the power pole. Trees. Drive through the tree. Uh, do we have ammo? We do. Hold down C. Shoot ahead. Fire trees. Much better now you're out of the forest. Uh, oh. Okay, power pole there. Redundant power pole here. And here. And here. And you shouldn't be damaged. So, obviously, we're going to double you up. Alright. Problem sorted. Let's mm. try and try to avoid the forest. Didn't think that was any better. Oh, there's a gun turret there. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oil. We need power. Uh, string a large power pole over to here. Then over to here. And then one here. Small power poles. On that side. And on that side. And a couple in the middle for good measure. Uh, output, output. And I believe the slow ones are fast enough. I'm not 100% sure. And worse comes to worse. No, they're not fast enough. Worst comes first, we can just quick replace them. Uh, okay, so we have plastic. Um, we have heavy and light oil, which we can't do anything with at the moment. Um, so that's one step onto our red circuit conquest. Uh, red circuits need green circuits, which we need to actually build properly. And copper cable, which we've, we've built before, so that's fine. So I think next step is to... Well, next step is to... Really? He got damaged. Uh, turn that off, because that's annoying. Um, good question about next step. I think next step is... We, we, we're just going to keep, keep jerry-rigging our current build. Because um, really, I want robots. Um, I want to put out a proper smelting setup. Um, and, and, a, and a proper bus. And normally, I would have handcrafted all of that by now. But with the um, increased 
I don't know if it's increased outright in version 15. Uh, version 16, rather. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's if it's increased outright or it's just lots of people have had bad rolls when it comes to biters, but um, they're a little bit more brutal than they used to be. Consequently, um, you, you're still you, you're a little bit on the back foot when it comes to early base building. Uh, okay, do we have? So we don't really have enough copper iron. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to take our one solitary blueprint because that's all we've managed to make so far. We're going to blueprint our iron setup without that silly chest and without that belt being there and to remove things from a from a blueprint print you right click to remove stuff left click if you want it back if you are a little bit overzealous um, to get rid of something that is you know a single item from the whole blueprint if you right click on it up here it'll just remove it like I don't want little power poles if I left click uh, if I left click, they all come back. If I right click, they all go away. We want them all go gone away. Um, and we're going to start doing some proper, proper planning and proper smelting. Because um, now we definitely have the resources to actually do it. We've got coal delivered. We've got iron delivered. Um, we don't have copper delivered yet. But we have this copper patch up here. Um, so we're going to, underneath power, start to actually plan out a proper bus. Uh, power goes all the way through. So technically these power poles don't do anything. Uh, break that one. Nope, you're still lit up. You've still got electricity. Good. Because you're in my way. Uh, Alright, take our blueprint. The idea is we'll do train unloading here somewhere. And then we'll do our smelters here. And then we can... St <laughs> oh, there's that sneeze I, I was I was complaining about a couple of episodes ago. I finally arrived. Um, it's good when you've got a couple of days between <laughs> initiation and arrival. Um, so yeah, unload here. Smelt is here, and then we'll either take our bus either straight out, or maybe we'll turn it and run it down. Um, I'm worried about cliffs, because they're awkward to build around, and they're not really that easy to tell from the early map view. What is a cliff and what isn't a cliff? Like, that looks like a cliff, but that actually looks like it has a height map on it. That looks higher. That is definitely cliffs there. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's cliffs right there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but for the moment, we're going to stamp these down. So we're going to make that one. That is going to be a... Iron? Yep. And we want lots of iron. So we're going to do one, two, three, four lots of iron. Um, is four going to be enough? Four is going to have to be enough for the moment. <laughs> Um, how much space did four use? So that'd be another four. Damn, oil's in the way already. All right, we're going to have to move further across. Uh, go away, blueprints. Blueprints, I beseech you, go away. Uh, go away, power poles. All these little power poles, I'm going to drop into a burner, at, a boiler at some stage. And get rid of them. Um, we're doing oil here. We've got water up here, so we could do oil up here. And we're just training in. Hmm. Sixteen's got some changes, and because these changes, um, large open free space 
is now a bit more of a premium than it used to be. Um, later game, look, we, we can just blow up the cliffs if they get in our way, but this early, we can't. My mouse slipped on that one. Where did it go? Alright, so we're going to go with six. Hopefully six is enough. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four for copper. There's that cliff I spoke about. Uh, mining productivity, fin three finish. That uses blue. Uh, we're going to do logistics slots, sure. Should probably do a shotgun right now, just, just on principle. Um, okay. That'll be the setup. And then... We're going to still bastardize the base a little bit. Rather than going with the bus, I think we're just going to go with the bare minimum to get things running. Uh, hang on. Green circuits need one and a half copper to one iron, and you need. Uh, if you've already used one and a half, hang on, you need two. So you've already used two iron plate and three copper. So you just need two copper. All right, so we're gonna do one iron array and then we're gonna do two copper arrays in hopes that that will be enough to get our green circuit production running, to get our red circuit production running, to basically Oh crap, that's going to be yellow belt. Um, to basically bootstrap robots. Because smelting arrays, like, we, we've done a few of them. And they, they take time to build, basically. Um, but if you've got robots, even... Oop, I don't actually need to build that one yet. Even the super, super, super slow robots that we start with, they'll get the job done. It might take them 20 minutes. But that's fine. There is lots of other things that we need to do whilst they're busy doing that. Uh, so we'll get our belt put in at least. Uh, we'll get a... Nope, that's all the smelters you get, JD. We will... Oops. Again, we've got a yellow belt. Oh, that was actually a minor change that they did. If you start mining a ghost, uh, or if you start mining, it won't auto-replace ghosts underneath. So if I... Where's a rock? There's a rock. So if I do the rock, and then I drag over all these ghosts, in the past they used to auto-remove because you're right-clicking on them. Now, no. It keeps it in a mining... Hey, new tutorial for logistics that way. Pass. You're gonna watch me. I'm much more better at delivering tutorials. At least I hope so. Um, okay, that's done. That's done. We need a crap ton of... Uh, so we need splitters, which are expensive. We need undergrounds, which are super expensive. We need... up oh, more red belt. belts. Bring that up to there. You're not going to make it in a single leap and bound. Mm. Okay. Uh, you're the output belt.
Okay, so we've got no splitters. I've got no undergrounds. I don't need any more belts. Uh, we just need a crap ton of inserters. And like I said, they, these just take time putting down. Uh, so the idea is if I bootstrap robots, we can then have them put down a bus gradually bit by bit, which will vastly up our production. Um, and it probably beats the pants off either, you know, the alternate method if, if you're playing this at home of actually you doing it, building a, building a, well, look, my last series, I built eight, eight iron, eight copper, uh, and then 10, 10 lots of steel, which as you can imagine, took some time to do. Uh, yeah, I thought that might happen. Okay. Um, yeah, it took some real time to get all that laid out. Um, Okay, out of inserters as well. Um, yeah. It, it took a very, 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 very long time to get all that laid out in, you know, in between episodes. Um, that wasn't that fun for me to do either. But it, it, it sort of had to be done because of the scale we were going in, in SpaceX. Um, what else did I need? I needed splitters. Sure, I'll make 16 without the green circuits. Uh, make that many. Uh, pick up some of those. Make those. Make more of those. Uh, stand here for a bit. Suck up a belt of iron. No, I got iron. Um, what else do we need? Standard inserters, please. Uh, maybe standard splitters. I just picked up a hundred from there. That's enough to do one smelting array. I have at least one to go. Uh, okay, so I should have enough inserters. I should have enough belts. Underground 22 splitters. Yeah, I got enough splitters now. Um, it's just a matter of going and putting all that stuff down. So, um, yeah, like what? what bleh, bleh, oh, oh, power poles. Oh, I've got power poles. Um, yeah. So as I say, um, SpaceX. I, I I built the whole smelting array by hand. It took ages and ages and ages to do. Um, I, it's not that the base couldn't produce stuff fast enough, it just took time to put it all down. Um, my idea and theory in this particular build is, or this particular tutorial, is we're going to sort of bootstrap a base until we get to Blue Science. And then we're just going to get some robots. Because they're slow, but they work. And for the cost of, you know, a Roboport, 50 robots, and a couple of chests, you could literally just have them slowly build all this out. Um, it might take them a while, but like I said, we're not in any rush. Um, and I think you just blueprint new ones down. Because this is just iron and just copper. We still need a number of steel outputs. Uh, and then when all said and done, can you... Can you go to... Oh, you can. That's going to save us some materials. Um, like that, those sort, sorts of small changes. Um, I could just tell a bot to just deconstruct the two in the middle. Boom, it's done. Uh, crap, I thought this one was built. This one's missing in service. And I don't believe I have enough in service. Um, I now know I don't have enough in service. Uh, yeah, so the plan is to try and get through making a green circuit again. Just a basic build. Uh, making a red circuit build. 
And then greens, reds, up power. Oh, no, I need to finish these inserters. Green circuits, red circuits. Um, mining drills. Okay, let's automate mining drills really quickly. Which we should have done ages ago. Um, but for blue circuits, we need... We need We already have the ro research of robots, don't we? Uh, that's what we need. 45 advanced circuits. That's it. Um, on top of that, we need oil cracking, which is this one here, which is 75 science pack threes, which is another 75 advanced circuits. Um, so not super expensive at all, by any means. Uh, let's go with... Yeah. You make mining drills, please. Uh, me make another lot of insert uh, uh, of assembly machines. There, and go away, power pole. Really, put it there. Uh, I would like some gears, please. You would like some mining drills. Uh, I would like some more insert, as it turns out. Uh, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go three. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Uh, we're gonna go some more long handeds. There, there. And a chest. And we're gonna cap that to four rows. Hey, we're building. Done. Uh, logistic slots we'll have to talk about in the next episode because I am going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, we will run down there and hook up power and inserters and then we'll start getting belts of actual raw materials into this contraption. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching, as always. I will see you in the next episode. Um, as always, down the bottom comment section, leave your thoughts, leave your questions. Um, tell me what I screwed up, what I screwed up. Tell me if you think that, that, that this is a faster way to get to the mid game, end game, than, than your normal laying down rows and rows and rows of smelters, because you're going to need them eventually. Um, yeah, tell me your thoughts. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye!